Hey there, Steve here. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate how to install Jiffy DOS on a Commodore 1571. I picked up this copy, version 6.01, from the good folks at CoPro Light Computer Byproducts. I got it on eBay, and in no time, it came in a nice bubble wrap package and sealed in a cardboard and anti-static foam uh, container. With just a few simple tools, this should only take a matter of minutes. So you ready? Let's get started. Okay, to start out, you're gonna need some basic tools, either a Phillips head screwdriver or a Torx driver, in this case, T10, in order to open up the case. Then the only other tools you're gonna need is either a flat head screwdriver or an EPRON puller, depending on what you have or what you're comfortable with. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble the case. The first thing to keep in mind is obviously make sure it's not plugged in, powered on, or have any cords connected to it. Then go ahead and proceed by unscrewing the four screws here, 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 and here. Okay, next you're gonna carefully flip it over and the screws are gonna pop out, so just make sure you, you, you're able to catch them wherever they fall out. Once flipped over, then you simply remove the case and set it aside. Next, we're gonna detach these four screws that are holding in the power supply. You're probably gonna to have to detach this braided cable here as well as this power cable here. What I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna flip it up like this and move it to the side. Now. What we're gonna be replacing is this chip right here. So next, you're either gonna get your EEPROM puller or your screwdriver, and you're gonna pry it out. The EEPROM puller, you're gonna attach it and you're gonna gently wiggle it out. With the screwdriver, you're gonna get it from one end or the other, and you're gonna gently pry it up. Be careful of this capacitor right here. If you're very careful, you can gently bend it out of the way, but be very careful when doing that. So if you're going to do the screwdriver technique, you just want to get it in here, give it a little twist on each side. It's really hard with this case like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tool here, give it a little twist each direction. Being careful not to bend the pins. And voila. Okay, again, if you're gonna use a screwdriver, a little bit on this side, a little bit on this side. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our Jiffy DOS. Now, if you notice, there's a notch. You see the notches on each of these pieces here? It's very important that this gets installed in that direction. So, next we take our Jiffy DOS making sure that we have the notch in the right direction. We're gonna lay it in just right on top there. We're gonna make sure that all the pins are aligned and nothing gets bent. Then once we're in there, you gently push it in and that's it. Now we just simply put it back together and then we can test it. See, told you this was easy. So the reverse, Go ahead and take your board, put it back in there, do your screws. Plug it back in, making special care that the red wire is on this side and the black wires are on that side. Okay, while I wrap this up, I'll come back and then we'll go ahead and test it out. Okay, with the system buttoned up, we're now ready to do a speed comparison. I'll be utilizing Donkey Kong in C64 mode because it provides a far better contrast of just how much an improvement Jiffy DOS really is compared to running in 128 mode. For now, I'll speed it up so we can jump right to the results. So, as you can see, our benchmark is just over half a minute. And now we'll try it with Jiffy DOS enabled. In addition to the speed boost you get from Jiffy DOS, you also get some keyboard shortcuts. For example, hitting F3 will load a basic program, and F5 will load and run a basic program. Now that the commands are entered, in just a few seconds we'll have the results. 
And there you have it. It took Jiffy DOS just under 8 seconds to load the very same program. Hey there, thanks for watching that geek guy. If you like what you just saw, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Just click on the geek image in the circle. When you're done, check out more helpful videos like this one to the left. Catch you later!